This is actually pretty cool. I think people will be very interested to see it for the first time. On a first date, what would you find attractive? Good point. Good point. Like if your relationship starts like that, it's like oh, it's like, sad part is there are a lot of guys who would cater to that and think that's the only way to appeal to the girl. Yeah. This is Korea Way, also known as K Town. Korea Town, New York City, is unlike LA's in that it is very concentrated. Two blocks at most. This is the main block. Thank you, Mr. Roboto. Tell me a little something about Koreatown and your favorite thing. This is where the hottest girls gather. Can you tell me anything else about Koreatown? Blocked off the streets since COVID. Yeah, since the reopening, right? Yeah, and they set up like a night market, and they close down the streets so that you're trapped. <laughs> you're trapped in an abyss of fun. In a, in a thirst trap, I meant. But we need something before we go eat. We need a haircut. Let's go. Hit it, boys. This is where we get our freshest cuts. Jason introduced me to his hairstylist. Yeah, I've been going here since college. So I went from a virgin to like a lady killer, you know what I'm saying? You went from a virgin to a virgin. Uh, oh, fashionista. Speaking of sponsors, this video is brought to you by Hello Talk the world's largest language exchange community with over 20 million users worldwide from over 200 countries, more than 150 languages. And I've been using HelloTalk for over two weeks now and I've met some cool new people there. Today, I'm gonna have John try this app for himself so I tried and get him myself, to see what I this is all about. I want you to set up a profile and I'm gonna take a nice profile picture of you. Uh, first, I'm gonna ask you to take your shirt off. <laughs> oh no, what the heck? Yeah, this is part of the part of the dude, process. This ain't Tinder, man. No, dude, I'm good. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, you're doing it. No, no. You'll know, just do it. No, no. You'll just do it. I don't do it. You know what? If we're gonna do it, we might as well go all out. Huge. You <laughs> split your cheeks in that. Learning. What should I learn? Chinese simplified. What kind of uh, food do you like? I like Chinese food. Oh, you, do you really? Yeah. Oh, name one Chinese food. Bro. <laughs> Come on, general self. <laughs> Bro. Profile shot, face Profile shot. Picture. Oh, dude, it's already connected to my face. Oh, nice. Wow. Now let's create a brief introduction. You can do audio too, if you want to show off your sexy voice. Hello, let's get toasty. <laughs> Join me for language learning. Okay, so tell me more about the app while I'm waiting for my for my reaction. So I, I love the social social aspect about the app. It can like share your life, share interesting things about your culture, where you're, what you're doing, use different language. Questions then? Yeah. Because I'm not going to use something unless it's practical. Uh, if I was, let's say, going to Japan or going to China, I would 100% use this app. It's like a very easy way to mutually sort of meet someone with common interests. Okay. They want to learn my language, I want to learn their language. Have you learned in the last couple weeks? I learned Nihen. Piaolian. Ladies. What's that mean? Uh, you're really pretty. Of course. I think you should have like 20 responses by now. Nothing. <laughs> that was so douchey that you didn't get any. <laughs> Why don't you just show your profile? Alright, fine. So this is Jason's phone. He's been using it. Yeah. Actually, let me show you my profile first. My hobbies include cooking, working out, and playing the guitar. I'm also single, but this information is irrelevant. Link. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm interested in learning Mandarin Chinese. By the way, I have a YouTube channel, J Bro. Nice plug, bro. Nice. This is how you write a All right. post. 
something. Oh, uh, people like it. And people then like it. Yeah. Ah. So I posted this picture of us at Coney, Coney Island. Yeah. And then I got four responses. What they say? They say, uh, you're cute. <laughs> Seriously, someone said that. <laughs> oh, but she said something else before that. Though. Well, I don't care about what she said before. I got it. Anyway, not that it matters. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a dating app. Wink, wink. Well, we have attached the links to the app in the link below. Make sure to check it out at the end of this video. And now back to our shenanigans. Jason, you want to fall in love? I want to fall in love. <laughs> Where was all? 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 So this is how you go from a 9 to 10. You talk about yourself? Yeah, who else? Is it out of 100? No, out of 10. <laughs> did, this, did the silence bother you? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'm a 7.9. Your personality is a 10. <gasps> <laughs> Perfect weather right now. It's like 75 degrees, slight breeze, and I got the hottest date. You want to kiss? Oh. So, lit, dude. Lit. Right in the middle of k -Town. This is now the new normal, right? It's one of my favorite bar. It's down this way. Hey, I just recognize you. Oh my God. <laughs> Are, you <laughs> Are you guys enjoying K Town? Yeah, Jason, we've been waiting. Nice to meet you, John, yeah. and that's Jason. I know you guys. Are you, Are you subscribed to Jay, bro? Yes, I am. Well, we've got to check. <laughs> uh, can I get a picture of you guys? Yeah, sure. Okay. What's your favorite thing about K Town? Do you come here a lot? I used to, yeah. I guess the people, the vibes, you know, it's like nostalgic. The night scene? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, I guess it's the closest we could get to like an Asian community. True, true. Yeah. So we're on our way to a house. What house is this? The house of Soju. To be honest, we're not big drinkers. I think I consumed. Oh my god, this place is lit! It really does. It really does. Did 
This is by far our favorite bar because they have really good drinks. Good atmosphere, good drinks, good energy. Good food, really good food. Good food, really that's, good that's food. That's very true. Yeah, very yeah. true. You, know, you go there when you're thirsty to get, get some drinks. It's not like I'm thirsty or anything. I'm gonna include that. Last week, yeah. It reopened last week for outdoor dining and already it's uh, it's only 8.15 and it's already packed. Yeah. You know they extended this outdoor uh, to next year? Oh really? It's going it's gonna happen Wait, again this summer. Oh for real? Yeah. I don't think we'll get a table. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. 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 Thank we met a new friend. Her name is Sissy. Hi. Wow, this is a wide lens. Pretty yeah. wide, pretty wide. Yeah. So it's almost as big as this. Whoa, oh that? my god. What is that? Show it's us. It's a Hasselblad. What is it? This is just a glass that reflects the picture. Oh, that's so cool. So uh, Sissy has donated her hospital. We really needed some new yeah. equipment, so thank you very much for this. Yeah. Alright guys. This place. Legit food, you know, the food being the foodie that I am, I gotta satisfy my very picky palate. Name, name three bar food. Three in bar food. Come on, bro. We got chokbal. Alright, one, that's one. We got cheese and up. Alright, that's two. We got two hours later. You want chokbal or no? Uh, it's kind of too big. Okay, okay that's it. Right. <laughs> Remember, do not pour yourself. Stand. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork. I'll tell you, bro. I'll be safe. All right, all right, all right. We should talk about. Um, we should talk about what we look for in dates. Besides the physical traits, on a first date, what would you find attractive? I think the most attractive thing is like she puts her and you at a, like an equal footing. What does that mean? Because uh, a lot of times I feel like pretty girls. I think like uh, because they have so many options, uh, okay. they're like you're just another guy. So I, I've been on like a couple of dates in the past where I, I had to like meet her standards, like trying to please her. Uh, like I felt that she was there, she was trying to be impressed. Yeah, it's like you ought to, you ought to impress me. I understand why she would feel that way, but I, I find that as like kind of a condescending, yeah, condescending, pretentious. Part of being a relationship, someone like that. exactly. That's the point. Good point. Like if your relationship starts like that, it's like oh, it's like, that part is there are a lot of guys who would cater to that, knowing that the girl is maybe beyond their league, yeah. out of their league, and and think that's the only way to appeal to the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's hotter than you are, better looking. Humility, I think, says a lot about someone's character. Yeah. Um, even the way that they treat strangers, how they might smile or converse with a waiter. Yeah. I was really excited for this day. This is like five years ago. I thought she was one of the cutest, prettiest girls I've met, and there were so many guys who were trying to meet this girl. Went on a date. Within the first 10 minutes, she didn't like that she wasn't being served immediately at the table. And she expressed that to the waiter, and she said it so distastefully. And I was like, even if you are upset with that person, do you even know the situation? Can Why are you assuming that it's that person's fault? Why are you taking it on that person? Like, is that the farthest that you can think about? Just how you are in that situation? From that point forward, I was like, someone treats someone with disrespect, I think that's an auto, yeah. auto fail. And the biggest turn on is like, if she has a lot of value, but, it, but she's trying to still like uplift other people, 
That's the kind of pe person that I'm looking for. So what's someone who like really impressed you with that though? I think my day with Stephanie was so good because, because I felt that instantly. She was someone who was really accommodating uh, with my needs. And, and thus like I want to... <laughs> yeah, that was a great day. Yeah, I'm going to give her more. So that my respect for her. You think that you can sell, you can you can tell someone's character from the first date? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. You don't think that there's a facade there because it's the first day. They want to portray a side of themselves that they think will work. But, but, but if, if the person's like putting, out, putting up a facade, that kind of shows like they're not like truly in touch. But some people are just really awkward. Some people are awkward with strangers. Yeah. So I don't think we can discredit them for being fake. They just might not be comfortable with someone they don't know yet. We talk about Koreatown a lot, but since like three years ago, we've stopped going out as often. We gotta work on videos on the weekends. We have other stuff to do. But Koreatown will always be a special place for us. And we wanted to show you. <laughs> Your hand's not big enough, bro. You know what they say, small hands. What? Small, small gloves. Small all right, thank you for making this far into the video. Please make sure to give us a follow if you have not. And once again, we would like to thank our sponsors, HelloTalk. Click on the link below to download the app right now. Learn a new language and make friends around the world? Why not? Anyway, that's it for today's episode. J-Bro out!